In this video, I will show you how to use the CLA locking kit for the Ford EcoBoost engine. You may have seen the other videos that I have done using the laser locking kit. The procedure to stripping it all down is exactly the same. So I'm not going to go into that too much here. If you want to see how it's done, you can check out the one of the previous videos how this is done. I will add a link at the end of this video. I did like using the laser equipment. It is obviously cheaper, but I think this one is much better. The main difference being able to adjust and set the VVT timing on the cam pulleys. Start by locking the crank. Just remove the 10 milli blanking plug at the bottom back of the engine. Then just time the engine slightly before TDC. Insert the lock tool, then turn the crank the remainder of the way until it locks on the crank web. Then with the starter motor removed, you can lock the flywheel off as seen here in this picture. This tool alone is fantastic as it gives you the ability to remove the crank pulley, which is exceptionally tight. Now going to the upper side of the engine, we can lock the cams off using the cam tools as seen here. These need to be bolted onto the top of the cylinder head and then using the adjuster screw, just screw this so that it is flush with the square on the camshaft. If it isn't, then obviously this will need adjusting when we come to rebuilding the timing. When you're happy, just tighten the lock nut. Always secure the tool to the cam first and then secure the remaining fastenings on the block as seen here. Now that the engine is correctly timed, as I'm sure you can agree it's going nowhere, it's time to tackle the crankshaft bolt. Once you've got this removed, you can remove the front cover and then we can change the timing belt. Now that the engine is correctly locked, you can go ahead and change the timing belt. Now that you've got the belt back on, we need to check the timing after the engine has been turned to full revolutions. By doing this, we can establish if the cam pull it needs adjusting. You might discover once you've turned the engine that the tool will not fit on top of the cam. So what we need to do next is we need to refit the front cover and then I'll take you through how to time the pulleys up. Front cover on. Now we need to refit the crank pulley. Check out this tool that I made to hold the pulley while it is tightened. There is a special tool for tightening the crank pulley, but I do find a decent impact gun and somebody holding the pulley works reasonably well. Use the mark that you made earlier when tightening the pulley. Don't do it with the pinning because you will damage the back plate and the tool. So, worst case scenario, you turn the engine to full revolutions and one of the cams is out. What do you do? This is the moment that we use the other tools provided in the kit. So the procedure is we lock the crank off again on the web and then we lock the flywheel, remove the sensors from the front cover so we can see the bolt. And this is where our cam pulley tool bolts to. Before you fit these, you will notice there is multiple Allen keys on the front. Just make sure these are loose and then the unit will spin independently as seen here. Then you need to line up the bolt holes and fasten the units to the front engine cover. Then push the unit far to the left as you can and then tighten the Allen keys up to lock the unit in place. You will notice that the rod and the pointers line up together. Now, 
the pulleys should be locked up into position and we can get on with adjusting the cam. To do this, loosen the cam pulley and then using a suitable spanner on the cam, turn the cam until the cam lock tool fits correctly and at that point you can then retighten the pulley. With that done, I would once again recommend turning the engine to full revolutions, locking it all off again and just to be double sure that the timing is now correct. And now that you're happy with that, all that remains to do is rebuild the engine and make yourself a well-deserved drink. This procedure is the same for the turbo and non-turbo version. So thanks for watching. This has been how to fix it. Why not check out some of our other great videos that are coming up here right now. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below.